So in this video, I'm going to walk and talk you through how to optimize your Kajabi landing pages for mobile. If you are not optimizing for mobile, you are missing a trick because more and more people are actually using their mobile phone to go onto landing pages, to check out, to actually join programs. So if your landing pages don't look good on mobile, you may be leaving money on the table. Now, Kajabi as a platform make this super easy for you to do. And I'm going to walk you through just a couple of tricks that you can use so you can actually look good on mobile and desktop. And do you know what the amount of people that ask me to review their landing pages and I check it out on mobile and they haven't actually thought about the layout of mobile? You have to be thinking of mobile first. More and more people, over 50% of people are just checking out things on their mobile on the go. So super quick then, I'm going to dive into my laptop and show you around. So here we are in my live Kajabi site. As you can see, Tim Peekman here and I've just gone straight down to website pages. So wherever possible, I try and encourage my clients to use website pages rather than building out a ton of landing pages. Because if you were to edit something in a website page, it would populate all of your other website pages. So if you can have more pages as a website page, you can just click here, new website page. And as you can see here, I've got uh, my about page, terms and conditions, all as website pages. So if I was to edit a header or a footer, it would populate across all of my website pages. So the people who are using your website have that unique user experience to your brand and the way you lay out your pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive straight on over into my home page and it's a, a system page or a website page. And I would edit this uh, as I want people to land on my home page what is the main thing I want people to do? Now, there's lots of different messaging that um, you can work on to actually guide people through your system pages, your website pages, and over to your landing pages. But today, specifically, we're going to look at these buttons in the top. So we have how this presents on desktop. And if you wanted to see that at all, you just pop it out into desktop. And then also how it presents on mobile. Now, Kajabi give a uh, a decent view of how this would present on mobile, but this isn't entirely accurate for all mobile devices. So it's really important that you grab this URL, put it into your phone and actually have a look on your phone to see how this lays out. Because on my phone, it doesn't actually look like this. I actually see the call to action button above the fold and that's what you want to happen. And this is because I've built this out differently from a landing page. So if I go back to my desktop. As you can see here, I've got the hero image uh, in, in brackets D and then I've got a hero image in brackets M. This is me building out a, a section for desktop and then me building out a section for mobile and then just hiding each one. So here, if I go into the hero image, this is the text and this image that you see here. But if you scroll down to mobile layout, I see this header too big for mobile. You can't actually see anything else. So what I've done is I've created a separate section and actually made that header text a little bit a little bit smaller and um, edited uh, it for mobile. So you have a look at mobile and edit this for mobile. So all I've done here is I've hidden this section on mobile and then I've uh, made sure it's showing on desktop. And then over here, if I go back to my hero image in mobile. I've actually gone and edited this so it looks similar to this, but not identical to this, but made sure on desktop, I've hidden this section on desktop because it doesn't look so great on desktop. And then mobile layout, I have uh, unchecked the hide section. So I want it to show on mobile. So have a play around with these. If you do need to build out a separate block so it looks good on mobile, do so. It just means that people on mobile won't see this one and people on desktop won't see this one. I'll give you another example. So I have a logo list here. Now, this is a logo list of um, some of the things that I uh, am affiliated with. Uh, I use the YouTube Partner Program. I use Kajabi Partners. I'm um, affiliated with X-Forces and Heropreneurs, two charities here in the UK. Now, this logo list looks great on desktop as we've just sort of popped it out. You can actually see that you can you can read what these logos are all about. But if I was to actually look at this on mobile, it would look massive. So because these are separate blocks, 
it would actually pop it out and it would be huge. So I've done another logo list. So as you can see here, these are all different images. So this would just be one after the other if, it, if I was looking at this in mobile. But now I, what I've done is I've hidden that on mobile and I've done a new image and I've edited this to actually be a little bit smaller and then I've edited it to upload just as in one image. If you have tons of logos, you could actually put them one above the other, but this is just one image that when I look on mobile, it actually comes up as one image here. So I think this looks better than having massive blocks of four logos one after the other because I want this to try and emulate the layout of the desktop so you can just see the logos as you scroll down and then you can actually do that on mobile. So again, remember to take your phone out, get that URL and check it out yourself as you were landing on your own page to check that out. So here I've just uploaded one image with all of the logos in and then I've hidden that on desktop. So if I go to here and then I would hide block on desktop sorry if I go back onto mobile here so this image here mobile layout uh, I show and then on desktop I hide so it just means that make sure you label it correctly so you're not getting too confused but logo list mobile and then logo list desktop looks very different because you've got four images stacked upon each other and I don't think that really looks good um, on mobile so wherever you see an option for if it doesn't really look good if it doesn't transfer well across to mobile give it its own section give it its own bespoke block and then hide the rest or hide the other one on mobile and then unhide this one on mobile so that's it super quick walkthrough and how to hide and unhide different sections for mobile and desktop I remember to check it out under the mobile and under the desktop sections within your Kajabi account, but also to get your phone out and actually type in that URL and see what it looks like on your mobile. As more than 50% of people are actually checking things out on their mobile first, you need to have that mindset when you're building out your landing pages and your website pages for a mobile first mindset. And if you like the look of Kajabi, haven't actually got Kajabi yet, I am a Kajabi partner. I can get you a 30 day free trial that's an extended trial of the 14 day free trial available to the public just by using my link you can head to timpeakman.com forward slash kajabi and as a thank you from me i'm going to automate you a free program which is called kajabi unbox this is what i would do if i opened a new account in kajabi first second third and fourth to actually open it up and set it up right for scale and yes, this is an affiliate link, but all that means is if you continue over those 30 days and become a paying member of Kajabi, you can then just reach back to me, Tim, at timpeakman.com and say, here's my receipt. I am now a paying member of Kajabi. Part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel, but I will also, as a second thank you, provide you with another program, which is my sales page templates. All you need to do is simply download my templates that I use in my business and then upload them into your Kajabi account and as a start of a 10, but then you're good to go. So that link once more, timpeakman.com forward slash Kajabi. Check out the awesome bonuses that I offer if you're jumping into Kajabi. The creator economy is a fantastic place to be right now. If you're creating content, building your online brand, and then positioning your products and services. That link once more, timpeakman.com forward slash Kajabi. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.